Hey everybody and welcome to week 7 of the Friday Night Fights where tonight we have the Wyvern against the White Abishai. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. I never did check it on D&D Beyond, um, but I'm pretty sure that's the pronunciation. And tonight we have Will back again and he will be acting as the Wyvern. And then we've got my son Brandon back for another fight of his own and he is working the White Abishai. So. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. White Abishai has the initiative. Alright, so I'm gonna dash all the way up. Okay. And that's the turn. That's it. Alright. Alright. Move goes to you, Wyvern. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use my bite attack first and then stinger. Alright. So. 15? Yes. Okay. What is your armor class? 15. Oh, wow. Just yeah. hits. So two. I forgot what that armor class was for each year. So 2d6 plus 4. So 1 and 6. So 7, 4, 11. 11? What damage is it? Uh, but that's bite. That's a bite. Um, but I, it should say after piercing the bite. Damage. Piercing damage. Okay, so it's halved. Okay, so that goes down to 5. Okay, and then I use my reaction to make a bite attack. 1d, 4 plus 3. Well, you gotta attack. No, you gotta roll 20. Oh. Yeah, it's not an automatic hit on a reaction attack. 16? That'll do it. That and it's, yeah. And what's yours, 14 armor class, I think? That's 13. Oh, it's 13. Ooh, yeah, that's easy. 6. 6 piercing damage and 6 cold damage. And you don't have resistance. No, there's no, so I don't think there's 12 resistance. total damage. Um, uh -huh. So you go in for your first attack, which was a bite. Mm -hmm. You reach out with a long neck, but he's able to get a quick reaction um, with that attack. What is your reaction attack? Vicious reprisal. Oh, okay. Uh, what is that kind of attack? It doesn't say, does it? No. It just says it makes a bite attack when taking damage to a random creature. Oh, oh, he bites. So you get you come in with your bite, and he immediately is able to bite you back right on the neck oh. before you can re retract your head, um, causing even more damage, so, but now it's still your turn, so you still get your second attack. Yeah, here comes the stinger. Here comes the pain. Yep, and 15 again. Yeah. That hits. And then that's um, 2d6 plus 4, 3, 6, so 9 plus 4 is 13, and then um, it's piercing damage, and then the target must make a dc15 constitution saving throw. Don't even need to roll it. Read your immunities. Oh, are you immune to poison? Oh, yeah. So you did the 13 damage. So you get your stinger into him. You whip the tail around, get the stinger in. Um, but, and you feel the stinger go into it, to his, pierce his skin and get the, some damage. You see the blood come out, but you don't feel like the poison did any effect on him whatsoever. So, okay, so like the, the poison isn't completely nullified? Correct. Okay. So he still does take six damage from the actual stinger piercing okay. damage because it was res he's resistant, so it goes from thirteen and a half to six. And that is that's the turn. Okay. So I make a, a long attack with the long sword. Fifteen. Yes. <laughs> that hits. So that's eleven slashing damage. Okay. Eleven slashing damage. Yeah. All right. And then a claw attack. Okay. 11 to hit? Uh, that misses. Alright. Okay. Um, that's the turn. Alright, so so after you get that stinger into you, um, you recover pretty quickly, reach out and just slash across him, uh, his shoulder with the sword, opening up a small wound, reach back out with the claw for the second one, but the, the wyvern's actually pretty dexterous, so he's able to uh, nimbly move out of the way pretty quickly. Okay, um, I'm gonna do, instead of by instinct, I'm gonna do two claws time. Uh, uh, 25? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, so 2d8 plus 4. Do you want a second d8? It'll be quicker. Sure. Thank you, sir. Is that a 7? Is this a. That's a 7, right? Yeah, that's okay. 7. So 7 plus 5. Um, 12. 12 Which plus 4. So that is 16. 16. Halved and is it's slashing be... damage, actually. It's yeah, he's, he's resistant to oh, it, too. Oh, two slashing. Yeah, okay. so that's going to be halved. 
eight. Alright. That's still pretty good damage for you considering he's resistant. Does he make a reaction or no I Who is that return? So uh nine plus seven that's sixteen? Yeah. Okay. And you're hitting everyone. Which is gonna you're gonna need to. So yeah. Uh, 7 plus 4 again, it's 11. Half is gonna be 5. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll use the reaction to make a bite attack. 12. Ah, uh, that misses. Let me check something real quick. So we're gonna play 7. Okay. Okay. I just wanna make sure. Mm -hmm. um, so you miss, so. Yeah. Okay, so you come out and with just two claw attacks, raking them right across. One gets him right in the rib cage. The other one comes down from the shoulder and drags into his chest, uh, opening up two wounds. He tries to bite back, but you're able to get the claw and your whole arm back and retract it quick enough so he, he misses. Um, and then is that going to end your turn? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Um, so he's multi attack, long sword. Yeah, Ooh. Nice, I saw that. Holy cow. Uh. Five. <laughs> you rolled a one on your damage. It's only one d eight. Yeah. Oh that's man, good. so that's about as bad as you can get. So two. So that's five, just five damage. Yeah. I think on the sword. Think you've always rolled a one for damage. You, you do, do a, a lot. lot. And then a claw attack. Oh, nine. No. That's <laughs> going to miss. So you come up with it with the sword and you 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 get you catch him, but you catch him in a part uh, where it's. His hide is pretty strong and tough, and you just barely, you felt like you hit him perfectly, but it just didn't get in there uh, as deep as you wanted to. Come back with the uh, claw and miss with that. Okay. Claw attack again. For both. Okay, so one is a 25 and the other is a uh, 10. So one only one hits. Mm -hmm. Only one hits. And then uh, for damage. So 14. So okay. halved is going to be 7. Mm -hmm. Now use the reaction. Alright. 23. Well, that's nice. That's an So it's 7. 7 piercing damage. 7 piercing, okay. And 5 cold damage. And 5 cold? Yep. Okay, so he gets you with this. The um, well, he gets you with the first claw, and you immediately counter that um, with your bite, dealing some hefty damage. Actually, pr pretty good damage on the bite, and then he, and because of that, he he wildly swings a second claw and misses you. Now go end your turn. Yeah. Okay. Why is his turn? Yeah. You don't answer for him. <laughs> then I'll use, I'll use the long sword. All right. Eleven. Oh, I, gonna, my eyes got lost in that, that tray of dice and I saw a 20. I know, you're oh, like, man, uh, I got another critical. You're like, what's his face? Caleb on critical roll always rolls into a pile of dice in his dice bin. They always joke about it. Oh. <laughs> Lately, they have at least. The claw is a 13. Uh, 13 hits. Okay. His armor AC is 13. So you swing, uh, you swing with that long sword, um, missing, uh, missing badly, and then you come back, wrong dice. No, it's a 1d10. No, that's a, that's a percentile. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yeah. either way. It's, yeah, it's 11, uh, yeah. yeah, 11 damage. And then while he's still, while he's still, just after he dodges that, you come back with the claw and actually get a good claw rip right across and you open up uh, those wounds onto his stomach even more. So you said 11 damage? Yeah. And All that's right. It. That's going to end your turn? Yeah. What's, um, I wanted to see something real quick. No, go ahead. So your 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 attack. Yeah, it's claw. God, my eyesight is horrible. Double claw attack again. Ooh, uh, one misses because it's a ten, and then the second one is a fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Did you roll both damages for the long sword? Or you miss with the long sword? It's four if you use two hands. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. So one missed, one hit. Um, okay. Six plus four, so that, that's ten, which I guess is five. Yep, and that's five. The reaction. Twenty. Natural? Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh
I rolled a one. <laughs> so that's four piercing, four piercing, <laughs> and six cold. That's an additional six cold. So again, you miss with your first claw. Second one, you come back with the claw, and he's ready. He takes the hit, but immediately bites you and just clamps down on your upper um, arm and uh, and opens up yet another wound, carrying into the flesh, bleeding. Your, his resistance is very his resistance is helping it, but um, I'll tell you right now, you still have the hit point lead, but it's getting, he's closed the gap. Oh. Um, because he started off, I mean, you start off with 42 more hit points. Yeah. So it's taking some time. So this is exactly what I thought. It's going to come down to probably the last round of attacks. Okay, it's a long sword. 25 hits. That hits. <laughs> so it's nine. Slashing damage. Okay, nine slashing. And the claw attack. One. Ooh, ooh natural one. Oh. Alright, so you, you get a. You tr swing the sword and you actually catch him really solid and the sword sticks in his side. And by the time you rip it back out and swing back with your claw, he's able to recover and gets out of the way of the slashing attack. And then his turn. Yeah. We're back over to. The wyvern. Yeah. Claws attack again. <clears throat> You're rolling a three consistently. Uh, again, one and one. So yeah, one hits because it's 14 plus seven. 21, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, 10, so. Uh, that is a 12. Yeah. So 12 six. damage, so halved is going to be six more damage. Then I use the reaction. Alright. Abishai using the reaction. 17. It hits. Right. So it's 7 piercing Oof. damage. 4 to 4. Oh. 7 piercing. And 3 cold. And 3 cold. So again, same thing. You're missing with that first claw. The second one you're able to get him. He doesn't uh, get his balance back, but he's immediately able to just bite into your arm and he's really tearing into that flesh of the same arm um, uh, to where it's it's almost getting limp at your side and you're starting to bleed heavily. Um, all right. And is that going to end your turn? Um, yes. All right. I'll sign. Just fly that. I don't think that'll be true. I'll use the long sword. 16. Yep. Yeah, that low armor class just kills the wyvern. Mm -hmm. 11. Ooh, that's good. Slashing. Alright. Now for the claw. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> 21. <laughs> yep. So it's 9 plus 8. So it's 12 slashing damage. Okay, so this time um, you see that he's. He's looking weak, so you really go into it, swinging with the sword, cutting into his wing um, and damaging him heavily, coming back with another claw attack um, and going right after that um, the abdomen, the underbelly of the uh, wyvern and opening that wound up even more. Um, and it almost looks like you can see ribs, um, the white of his ribs underneath there. And you are, right now you're, you're struggling. Okay. Nice two need the hit. <laughs> uh, twenty-two. Yeah. Yep. And uh, nineteen. Yeah. Nine for the first one. I have just gonna be forced for Okay. And then it's a better roll. Uh, so fifteen. Fifteen, so how's that's going to be seven? Okay. And I use the reaction. Sixteen hits. Oh, just gonna do it. It's going to be real. Cool. Seven piercing damage. Okay. And then five cold damage. Now you want to end this? So he comes in and he's able to actually get you in in just a frenzy panic. His adrenaline kicks in. He knows he's on death's door. He comes back. Slashes you, slashes you again, and you are able to bite it off. 
bite its head off. Okay, so then as soon as he gets those claws, you literally just bite and clamp down, open your jaws wide and, and clamp down right on the side of his head and neck and just rear back and just and literally rip off um, half of his neck and just leave him and he just drops um, and into a heap. And that will end the fight. Yeah, I, know, I had to use a dragon and a baylor, but they were close enough. They actually looked pretty good. Um, okay, well that's it for the fight. The white Abishai actually takes it, though um, he actually only had 15 hit points left um, with that, so you were literally just like I thought, one round away from being able to kill him. How close did, uh, how close did that kill him? What's that? How close was that to... Like, oh, he had five hit points left, so the no. second part of that attack, the uh, cold damage is what actually killed him. Yeah. Um, so it froze him. Yeah. Yeah. As so, you did so yeah, that was a good one. But um, yeah, White Abishai is the winner. Um, shake hands, gentlemen. And so congratulations to everybody who got that one right. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, a big thanks to Will and my son Brandon for helping out with the fight tonight. All right, thanks everybody.